house is haunted by the echo of your last goodbye. The house is haunted by the echo of your last goodbye. The house is haunted by memories that refuse to die. I can't get away from a vision that brings intimate glimpses of intimate things. A voice in my heart like a tart singer sings. I wonder who's kissing her now. The house is haunted by the echo of your favorite song. The place is cluttered up with roses that have lived too long, much too long. The ceiling is white, but the shadows are black. A ghost in my heart says she'll never come back. The house is haunted by the echo of your last goodbye. Hmm. I wonder if next year's shows will have a new intro. Hmm. I wonder if next year's show will even happen. Why, are you going to start a haunted house, Dan? That's opportunity knocking. Welcome to another fantastic, fantastic haunt hour. We only have a few left this season, Troy. We only have a few. What is the heart for? Dan, I love that you're here with me tonight. Oh, I love that I'm here with you. I <laughs> wish that somebody else was here, but. Oh, Susie I know. But, you know, Sean, Sean did a lot for us these last couple of weeks, and I wanted to give him the time off. So, you know, I didn't, yeah. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to make him do another show with me, you know. Oh, you mean, oh, you mean, oh, you mean Susie, I like to be at the beach in a swimsuit, Fleasick? Got it. Yeah, yeah, Susie, yeah. Halloween means nothing to me for these last two right. weeks, Fleasick, yeah. 
Well, I yeah. left I left a little comment on her page saying that um, since she said she's never coming back, I am now the uh, proud owner of the Crawford School of Terror, and Christopher Presley and Wilma Presley are the now proud owners of the coffee shop. Oh well, that's fantastic. So we're going to I mean, keep it going. There won't be any any differences. I mean, it's just going to be the same thing. Congratulations to them. All uh, right, right. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. Gonna, I, mean, I I can't tell you where the cream's going to come from, but you know. Well, I probably could. <laughs> Wilma can't too. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Okay. Disgusting. Anyway. How, th how are things, Troy? Uh, you know, uh, I just got done after a week and a half of doing nothing but editing for the award show, and I went yep. camping with my yep. family, uh, and that was fun. It was, it, it was, it was, it was a good time. I got to hang That's out on good. the beach with my daughter, and you know, uh, 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 you know, doing the sunset, you know, and we hung out on there until the sun set on there, and you know, and it was uh, hey. the rest and of the family left. They were like, "It's too cold. It's just windy." Yeah, but you, uh, it was, it's all about the art. You know, right. the other thing is you were out on the beach, you went camping, but you still made it here tonight, right? Uh, yeah, I did. I did. I did make it here from the beach. I did not stay at the beach and neglect my duties as it's okay. co -host it's okay. I mean, it's, it just shows your, your loyalty to, uh, to the brand. Yeah. Totally I, makes you know, sense. I, you know, it's, I, you know, totally, it's very, totally it's very true. It's very, it's very true. I, I'm sure Susie won't even watch this. So we probably I think it's need. strike two. I think it's strike two for her, right? Yeah. Uh, I, last week yeah, was strike one. I feel like you're correct on that. I think so. We'll have to see strike three. I mean, we, you know, we do, we do, we do start it over next season. So yeah, I mean, as, he has like four more shows to get a third strike. So, and then what, then what do we do? Give her a fourth strike. I feel like that's what we do these days. I'm going to give you a third strike. And when that oh. happens, oh, I'm so Sean, give you a so fourth. So, Sean, you can be on the show when Susie's kicked off? Okay. All right. Got it. All right. Cool. This right, just bye. in, folks. This <laughs> just in. <laughs> We're I just kidding. On we love now. you, Susie. We love you, Susie. Enjoy your, your time on the beach, even though yeah, you weren't because... probably on the beach at 8.15, 9.15 at night. But, hey, well, maybe you are. Who knows? Enjoy yourself. Yeah. 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 So, enough uh, about the person that's not here. What's going right? on with you? Other than, uh, other than camping, you you got the uh, you got the so you got the uh, the uh, home honor awards show completed and, and yep. uploaded and and yep. out there for the world to see. Yep, came yep. out Sunday night. Yep, I'll be honest, yep. I have not had a chance. It's in my queue, but I have not had a chance to watch it. So I'm super excited to see yep. what all happens here, as it's yep. kind of going to be. Well, the, I mean, we're going to spoil it for it, you. It, if, hey, uh, you know what? That it is what it is. Yeah, if you what haven't watched the show about? yet, then either stop watching this so that you don't get spoiled and you can come back and watch this like afterwards as like an after show, you know, get the, you know, get, get another beer and then watch this as an after show, kind of like the after walking dead thing or whatever. Uh, hmm. you know, so you could do that. Or uh, you we are going to spoil this, it for you. Get all the winners, understand everything. And then at your leisure, go through and watch me like, oh, I know who's going to win this. Yeah. But or I mean, you I still, bets. I, you yeah, can play I, bets with your friends. Like, oh, hey. you could. It's but I like Back to the Future with the. Hey, you know, yeah, 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 see? See? yeah. I like that. I like that. I like Always that. Thinking. Always um, thinking. But yeah, so we did that. We did that. Um, and uh, actually, I I want you know we don't talk enough about you, Dan, uh, during this, and I have other news, yeah, but do. but I'd rather talk to you for a minute. Okay. You and your daughter do something that is cool. Um, that maybe not a lot of dads and daughters do all the time is that you basically follow her around across the country while she plays volleyball and this you take true. little videos of them, you know, and put them up on the Tiki talk and the, you know, yes. Um, yes. But uh, so, so, so what, what part of all, like explain the volleyball, you know, um, time right now with her, like, is, is it nationals? Is it Olympics? What are we doing here? No, right now nationals is done and she's getting ready for high school volleyball. So she's okay. next Monday, not this Monday, next Monday is, um, volleyball tryouts for varsity and where she's part of the, she's in the school district that, or the school that is the big, one of the biggest ones in Wisconsin. So it's right. a big deal for her to, to make a team. It, and she's a junior this year. So she's going to either make a team or she's not because there's no JV it's varsity or nothing. So, oh, okay. So it's a, it's a, it's, I don't think it's, re she's really nervous, but I, I think I'm more nervous than she right. is. But other than yeah. that, it's been, it's, a, there's a lot of stuff going on with volleyball yeah. right now. So, she but, just so, like, up. so the national team is different. Like the team she yes. has on for nationals, that's different than what she does for high school. 
Correct. Nationals, that's completely separate. Two different that's, teams. Two, yeah. two different teams. Two okay. separate teams. Okay. Uh, at this year, nobody she plays with this year on the same team. Okay. I don't think so, okay. no. And no, so, okay. but, but the Nationals team is the one that she could have the ability to go further, like into the Olympics Correct. and stuff like yes. that. With high school yes, teams. National, Nationals is it's like it's like the off season for high school okay. ball. Okay. Or high school ball is the off season for nationals. It's it's year round. We get right. she gets she gets three weeks off, um, <laughs> uh, J- J- July July first till like to the twenty first. Yeah, we don't talk about volleyball. She puts the <laughs> volleyball away. She goes and is a kid. Yeah. you know, a sixteen year old for yeah. three weeks, and then then the trainings and the camps come back out, and then the high school does like a pre thing like for the last three four weeks she's been at a pre high school volleyball like 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 out. Camps, the camps yeah it's like a, they play against each other they're they're the same teams as last year but that's nothing's official it's official because oh. all the, the high schools play together and right. they play against each other but no coaches are involved supposedly you know and it's kind of just uh keep keeping the in the ring you know there's assistant coaches no coaches are allowed to go to these events so okay I don't know. It's yeah. It's a lot of non-Halloween related shit that's happening over here. So that's fine. Yeah. Is 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 her goal to go to the Olympics? I mean, is that like no, no? I think what she really wants to do is it, she says she doesn't even want to play college ball, but I think that'll oh. change as soon as people start talking to her. There's right. <laughs> she, she's you know, she's got a couple flyers in the mail for yeah. schools that say, hey, we'll we'll do we'll work work with you, but it's. It's not like you're getting a full ride unless you're part of the two percent in, right. in, in the group. You know, you're not going to get a full ride anywhere. That one of the players that she plays with or played with at one point in time um, is got a full ride in Notre Dame. So it's kind of you know, it's it, there's a there's a level there. Right. She, it's great that she's on a team that's really good. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm not holding my breath for any you know D1 UW Madison. You know. Right. It's full ride you know, wherever you want to go to school, it's kind of, if you want to do it, do it. If you don't, yeah, well, you know, kept you out of trouble kind of thing. So otherwise Dan needs uh, to know if anybody is hiring for a second job so he can afford the college. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If anybody's hiring out there, Please. Dan is free I mean, other than Tuesday nights yes. from March to August. <laughs> yes. This is true. Very true. So, um, yeah. So, well, that's awesome. I've, I, you know, cause I follow you on TikTok and I watch all your stuff, you know, yeah. volleyball stuff and, and uh, yeah, I try and keep it separate, but it, it well, you create, it. you create pretty cool content and I got to give that to hey, you. Thanks. You know, you're a, hey. you're a uh, you know, you know what you're doing. I kind of, I kind of, kind of been doing it for a couple, couple minutes. So. <laughs> right. 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 I, I got to thank the Halloween industry for that. Creativity right. is, mm-hmm. is key over here. So, right. So. But enough about uh, non volleyball or non Halloween related stuff. What's uh, what's uh, what what else is going on in the ha- in the haunted house world? Ooh, what's this? So, so I've never oh, been to this it's... summer scream, and what I didn't have? realize it was this big. It's like ginormous. I didn't realize like the outside of this convention center and stuff like it's that. Huge. Um, this line back here over this bridge, that's the general admission line back here. That's bonkers. Way back there, and like the golden bat line is this one. I I believe that's um, ridiculous. Roland, who was on our show earlier this year, yeah. uh, he got there and said that uh, he was back over here, I think on this ship back here. And he said, <laughs> I'm not going to go in. He said the line was so long. He goes, it must have been well over a mile long. Yeah, and so I told him, I said, well, I- I've heard you can only get in if you have the bat- the golden bat pass. Like you're waiting out there for more than half the first day to get in. Uh, and because they do, they do wand Wait. searches. They do the security thing. Yeah. They search bags. And there's only two entrances. And I'm like, that needs to change. <laughs> like, wow. I see a lot of doors down there. I see a lot of these doors. And I'm like, these, some of these have got to open. <laughs> you know, well, you know, it's, um, I get, I get the multiple entrances, but man, oh man, like, why you got to really fucking love midsummer like, to fucking stand in line that long? Like, I wouldn't, right. I would just, I would just go pay the vendor fee just so that I could say I'm a vendor so I could go in early. You know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. Yeah, it uh, it definitely looks, uh, you know, I mean, there's definitely a lot of people there. Um, From what I heard was that the the idea was 30,000 people were going to be there. Uh, Uh, I feel like it's more than that. 
I I have a feeling that that I was you know, told that that number that number is way low from from some of the right and and I think I think that was the number well. from 2019. Yeah, I was going to say 20. And well, they didn't do it in 2020, did they? No, no, they didn't do 2020 or 21. They did a they did a little a little thing at the end yeah. of 2021. They did they did a mini one of these. Um, yeah. but um. I I was I was more looking for like a highlight reel of of Midsummer Scream that does not exist because you can't because <laughs> this that like all, almost everybody's video see. is about an hour long yeah. and they don't get everything in um you know um this this kind of blew me away so they're getting into uh, let's see so this is the line to get into the Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights panel. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. There's this like, is the golden bat pass people. The general admission is behind yeah. is behind the camera. If you're and lucky. Yeah. <laughs> this, I was blown away by this room. Yeah. And I know this convention center is gigantic, but this was just for one panel. Yes. And it's monstrous. Look at that. My God. <laughs> yeah. and, I mean, and people like, like line up for hours ahead of time. Right. This thing. right? Like, Oh, I mean, I crazy. mean, that's a set. I mean, that's a set <laughs> for, yes. for, for a panel. Um, you know, uh, one of the other things that they do, um, well, this is actually, this is actually a show floor map that I screen grabbed real fast. Um, nice. that's, you know, that's, that's, a, vendors? um, way, way more I than think me. that's called a fuck lot. <laughs> I think a titty, a titty ton. I think, yeah, yeah, um, definitely. I mean, several, several. I mean, I, I would say probably, probably four or five hundred vendors in there. Probably, maybe four hundred, something like that. Maybe yeah, it's crazy. Uh, it looks like about about five per set here. So you know, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. I mean, you know, so you know, several hundred uh, vendors. Uh, but one of the cool things that they do is they definitely do where it's the Hall of Shadows. I love this. I absolutely and love this. I wish other shows would do this. I don't this know. Year, right. th this was all photo ops. This section was all photo ops done by the SoCal Haunters. Um, oh. Pretty much all of this is put up by SoCal Haunters. Some yeah. of the other haunts will will come in and do yep. it as well. The Cow Haunts is like the, like, yep. okay, this is what we're doing, you know, type of thing. Uh, the LA yeah. Hayride is there. Several, you know, Universal put some stuff in there too. Um, but but this, I really like this idea. If this. you can't get people to do a haunt, because I know like doing a haunt in a convention is hard because you got to get all the people in there. You have to, you have yeah. to build all of it prior to it, set it up in a place you've yes. never set up before. Things like that. There's a lot of, and then there's a lot of moving to, parts and not a lot of time to iron out errors. Well, and, and then you have people that are say, yeah, I'll be there just like any up. other haunt. <laughs> I'll be there. I'll be there. Yeah. And then they don't show up. So, yeah. but something like this with photo ops. And I know that like, I've even done a photo op at West coast before. Um, these are a big thing. And I think it'd be cool yes. if, every convention had like their local home hunter association or whatever, or one that was closer by would do a photo op section and they would build something yes. like this and they could even, and they great. could even auction this off. They could sell it at the end, things like yeah. that too. Um, yeah. It's, but, you know, it's funny. Cause I had a buddy of mine who um, Ken Spriggs, who created a, a photo op Halloween location where he just took a bunch of his extra haunted house props and stuff and yeah. built a bunch of sets yeah. And then open it up like, you know, a week or so before Halloween to, you know, the night of Halloween and had people come in all the time and just take photo op. It's they call it a selfie station or whatever, whatever. Oh, it yeah, is. Yeah. yeah. yeah, And, and I, it, it didn't, it wasn't as well received as it is on the West coast. The West coast is they've, they've got it. They, it's, it's known, you know what yeah. I mean? Like people know about it and they just well, don't know. We about have, it we have buildings it. that literally just have selfie things like there's just yeah. there's it's like it's like a warehouse and they built rooms all over and they just put selfie you know the little ring yep. things on there and you literally just go in there and you take pictures of yourself yep. in these cool sets and they're yep. and they're and they're all over on the west coast especially in california they're yeah. like in every town portland's got like two now um milwaukee milwaukee here in wisconsin has one that i know yeah. of it's down in the third ward and but it's like i don't know it's not the same as like this the stuff out out yeah. east or out west Right. Also out west, so yeah. Out of the curve, I know that I know that MHC did this with the Chicago Haunt Builders. They had them. Yep. They had uh, you know uh, Michael Peters that was on our show before. Uh, he did um, his his group, the Nightmare uh, Haunted House, did did the haunt, and it was well received. So that'll probably be back. Yes. Um, 
Uh, Texas did a few photo ops outside. They did one with the green screen this year. So that was kind of cool. Trans world. We have the dark zone. That's fine. Um, yeah. You know, I mean, um, that's nothing like this, but yes. I know yeah. Yeah. yeah you, you, you know, but it, but it's, but it's cool to have a space. I know Texas is yes. talking about maybe having a space for dark yes. stuff too. Yes. Um, you know, uh, so it's but, almost it, must have, especially given the haunted house industry. You right. Know? I mean, you can't show your LEDs off in regular no. stuff or like right. cyclone signs. You can't show that yeah. off in the day. No, you can't show stupid, any of that so, so far. You're right. Um, you know, but this, in all reality, I kind of don't want the other shows to do this because I like that Midsummer Scream has this and it's something unique to their show. And I, and I feel like if other ones do something this big, having one or two or photo ops is fine, not but doing something this big, I'm like, that, that is a reason to go to Midsummer, you know, where everybody has a reason they go to different shows. This is one of the biggest draws for this place. Um, well, for Haunter, for Haunters, it is. Right, right, I mean, right, right. Midsummer and, is, is a Halloween it you is. know, it's more, it's, it's a lot of Halloween. It's haunted house and Halloween together in a large, yeah. popula well-populated area. So you're right. going to get a lot of people to show up because it oh, is yeah. so populated. Yeah. So, yeah. But it's at the same not time, I don't, I, I would like to see every, every con do this just because yeah. it's not, it's not the same people coming, you know, sure. there's, there's talent in, in Chicago. There's talent in Ohio. Absolutely. There's talent, in, you know, out East, there's talent mm -hmm. in Texas. Yep. There's a lot of talent in Texas, but what I'm saying <laughs> is I, I think that this could be some sort of a, a thing that every, every show can incorporate yeah. just to bring in, bring in people, even if, yeah. even if there's only three or two. And, and it's not, it's, it's, it's a space filler. Like let's yes. say you have a big right. show floor and you had, you know, 15 booths that didn't right. sell this year, take out those booths and put Who in. Who doesn't love the dark zone? You right. know what I mean? Right. Everybody right. loves the dark zone. Yeah. Yeah. Even so you don't necessarily have to sell ideas. all those. Right. Yeah. yeah. And see, yeah. like, like we had talked about it one time for West coast was that we were going to have haunters. They would each get a, like a, a five foot by five foot area or something like that, or a 10 foot area, whatever. Mm -hmm. And it would be a walkthrough. And so it'd be like five walkthroughs and it would just be straight line, but mm -hmm. each room would be different. And mm -hmm. vendors that were there could bring in and put stuff in there. So like they if an LED that. guy was in there, they could say, come here, come over here and look at this. This is what my yeah. LEDs look like in this. You and know, and what they would do, Transworld did this years ago, that what they do is if they had a prop or, or a lighting or something that was in that event as you walk through, they would have their booth number with the name of the company on there. So oh, people yeah. would be like, oh, this looks fucking cool. Oh, yeah. booth 807, it's mini spotlight. You know what I mean? Like, so right. you, you get that, you get all the information. The problem is vendors having to go set up something like an animatronic or something like that in right. the booth, then they have to get rid of it. And then at the end, all of that stuff got auctioned off the rooms, the walls, the props, everything got oh. auctioned at the end of the, and that required somebody to, you know, tear it down and take it apart. And, and it, so I don't, I think it was a lot of work. Um, yeah. for trans world, they only did it one year. Um, Maybe they yeah, did. It may, it may I, not have been two years, but yeah. either way, it, it was. I thought it was great from a from a buyer's standpoint because you can see the stuff in action. Yeah, you know, it, even for a for a con like Midsummer Screen, I would love that. This is this would be the reason why I would go. Right, you know, for right. me, like it I would definitely love high on my be, list of why of why I want to go. You know, for sure. I mean, there's other you know vendors and props and stuff like that, and and just to say I've gone, but like this is this is awesome. This is awesome. Yeah. So. It's like a haunted house. You don't know you paid a boatload of money to get into, but it's like a bonus. Yeah. I don't know. I'm a fan. I'm yeah. A fan but I will definitely tell people that if you want to go to Midsummer Scream, you have to buy the Golden Bat Pass. You yeah. will not, you will not experience it like you need to unless you get that. I don't um, know. I feel like maybe we should just all go in on a booth and then get a booth and put a banner up and then we're in and we don't have to worry about that. Like, why not? There is, there is talk of a large group of us going at least one year. It may be a couple years from now, but yeah. a bunch of us want to go because a bunch of us probably won't go very often. So we want to kind of all go as a group, you know? Yeah. So of course, you know, you're, I, you know, you're friends with I, me. So you're yeah. friends with my friends and you know, so that yeah, kind of so gets you in. It's, I mean, it's you know. a shoe in. It's a shoe in. Right. You're a shoe in. You're a shoe in. You're also paying for the myself. hotel rooms, but other than that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I see how this happens. I see, I see where we're going with this. Okay, that's yes. fine. You get but me yeah. in, I'll pay for the hotel. How's that? Right, right, get, right, okay. right. I take, I'll make this. I'll make this loud and proud right now. I'll okay. pay for your room the okay. whole weekend. It, it it can only be you and and me. and your yeah. wife. 
Okay. And well, no, she, no she probably wouldn't come. Okay. So then it's just you. I'm not yeah. sharing a room with 18 people. And then second of all, you, we're not waiting in any lines. You got to find a way to get us into the front and I'll pay for your, I'll pay for your I, 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 I have that sewn up. Okay. Good to go. Yeah. Then we're, then, <laughs> then you heard it here first folks. I'm paying for, paying for Troy's hotel done. room. Done. Okay. Done. We will okay, now that, we've, uh, now that we've done a bunch of house cleaning here and we've talked about, right. you know, one of the biggest haunt shows in, uh, in the United States, mm -hmm. uh, what about the biggest uh, Halloween home haunt show, awards show? Mm -hmm. do, we, do we have any information on that? Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. We got that guy. Christopher Presley. That guy. That guy. That guy right down below me. Christopher, how are you doing tonight? Fantastic. Oh, he's muted. Why are you muted? Come on. This it's is a bad. this is a highly yeah. produced show. Highly highly produced produ show. This there. is how this produces the award show, right? <laughs> this is right. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Anyways. As you'll see Welcome. in the outtakes that are out today. Welcome, Mr. Presley. Welcome Hello. to the Haunt Hour. Oh, Hi, buddy. Talking about all things Halloween. And tonight yep. we're talking about the award show that just debuted. It came out on Sunday, correct? Yep. Sunday night. Yep. Um, yeah. We did. We did. <laughs> so that was cool. All right. Well, good night, everybody. Okay, good night, great. everybody. Good, good night. Take care. Have a great oh, night. Cool. See you later. Spoiler alert. Uh, um, yes, definitely a spoiler alert. If yes. everybody so is if you don't watch. Yeah. If you don't want to, if you want to watch the watch the show first, then stop right here. Go no further and go watch the show. Give you a time. Um, so yes, this year uh, we um, kind of a backstory of why it took this long. Uh, we originally had the idea to go to Ohio for a special uh, idea that we have that'll be you know that's on the back burner now. Uh, we have like four years, three or four years of ideas of shows and and storylines. So uh, this one is getting pushed back, but we had an idea to go to Ohio. And then we saw plane tickets and it was going to be almost $800 for me to fly to Ohio in April. Uh, and because Christopher wow. has a different type of situation with his kid's school. And so it has, it has, he has different times where he's in school when he's not. And so we, and so we wanted to work around that because family first. Yeah. And so once we saw that, I said, dude, I love the award show, man, but <laughs> unless you're paying, I ain't going. Yeah. Yeah, so, no, no, no. Um, but I, but I had already bought my booth for Texas, uh, to, for the, for the, for the, uh, terror tours. And we were all, we already knew that the eight of us of my family and Kelly's family, we're going to go, we're, we're going to drive down there. So I asked Christopher, I said, Hey, what was going to be your cost to Ohio? He said it was like 300. It was also 300 to Texas. And I said, how about you come to Texas? And so we worked that out and he came down there with us. Um, and we asked the convention early on if we could use their facilities. Uh, we had a couple of ideas going into it, um, and we settled on one that it, uh, that was presented in in the in the show. Um, and I'll let Christopher talk about that a little more. But um, they uh, they graciously said yes, we would love to have you as part of our show. Um, one of the one of the ideas would be we're actually going to do it live. We were going to do we we were going to film the show on Friday when everybody was setting up and we had the we had yep. the stage and everything. And then actually as a class, we were going to do the actual award show live. Show everybody on the stage the actual you know the nominees and the winners and all that. But once we found out who the winners were, we were like, well, none of them are going to be here. And mm. so trying to get them to make videos and also be surprised at the award and all that kind of stuff. We were like, we yeah. didn't know if we wanted to go the whole Oscar route of, I couldn't be there to accept, you know? Um, and yeah. we, and, I mean, and, you know, if we had had like two or three of the winners there, we probably would have done it, but probably, we, you know, but so we, so we settled on a different plan and Christopher can talk about that. Yes. Yeah, so um, actually, Christopher. Christopher, before we get into that, yeah, can you yeah. just yeah. give everybody a, a synopsis of what the Home Haunted yeah. Awards show is for the few people that don't know what it is? Just just what is what is the Home Haunted Awards show? Okay. Well, you know, I mean, that's exactly what it is. It's an award show for Home Haunters by Home Haunters uh, where we receive uh, entries from a variety of different categories from like a best static or motorized prop, best walkthrough, best display haunt. Um, and then a group of judges will go through 
score each one of the nominees uh, in the categories, uh, and then they submit their score sheets to me, and uh, I just basically I go through and tabulate everything, and whoever scores the highest out of all of the judges is the winner for the category, and the top five uh, scores in that category are quote unquote the nominees. So, you know, we have tons of, uh, of entries last year. We had a total of a ho- over 170 uh, entries. No, wow. this was no, oh, no, for, no, no, for COVID not- year. We had like 90. Okay. For 2020, yeah. we yeah. had 90 submissions for this year. We oh, had, wow. yeah. Yeah. We actually had more submissions for this show than we had with our, our first and sh- second show combined. Wow. So, um, yeah, so it was, it, we it had seems a- like it's well run and well put together and well thought out. So kudos to that. Cause I mean, this, this, about that. this page right here is just the display category. Holy snikes. These are all the people that just did display. And then mm-hmm. we have, and then we have the walkthrough and you've got all of these walkthroughs. <laughs> Ooh-wee. Some people like yeah. to get really descriptive Dark Hollow productions. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's funny. Yeah, uh, but but it but it helped because uh, there were there were a few times where I had to look in here and find out why did we have three videos for this? Um, yeah. You know, and it was because they you know they said well this one is for this part you know like this one you know walkthroughs part one and two you know they didn't want to do they had two different videos that you know talked about different parts of the walkthrough you know so that so having the notes helped us a lot yeah um, you know but anyway thank you for giving everybody a a, a once over because uh, you know i think i knew about all this but i didn't realize that it was this well thought out i thought it was oh. just everybody submitting and good job so so <laughs> I, I mean what i what i will say is that a lot of this comes from David Denakian, or that's mm-hmm. that's I yep. can never yep. remember if that's how his name is last name is said. Denakian. So Dave, yeah. Denakian. 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 I always said Dan Canyon because that's how I made Steve <laughs> said it. I was one of the little Dave, and I, and yeah, know yeah. Every, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, dead dead with Dave because that's that's essentially what Troy and I did is we took it over mm-hmm. from Dead with Dave, and um, he had a lot of it. Our, he had most of the structure already I set up. There. Yeah, we just it. we just uh, el- elaborated a little bit more yeah. on it and 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 modified it to suit our needs. But a lot of yeah. the a lot of the bones of it was already there. So uh, okay. like I, said, I had because I judged the last year of Dead with Dave Awards. So I had the judging sheets and I had all of the stuff of how the, how the criteria was done. So then me and Christopher sat down and said, OK, what do we like about this criteria and what do we don't like about it? And we're still mm-hmm. even doing that now. We're still, you know, each yeah. year we go through the Evolving. criteria and we're like, this, this just didn't work. The judges had yeah. a really hard time figuring that out or whatever. We yeah. like this wording better or, you know, take this part out, you know? Um, mm-hmm. So we're, and we're constantly evolving with the judging of the show. Mm-hmm. Um, That's cool. You know? Yeah. yeah. So, um, but then, yeah, like I said, so, you know, everybody submits their entries the judges will then score and then based off of the you know the score sheets and the total tabulation whoever's got the highest score wins cuz i mean i'll be honest with you there were some there were some uh some people who won last uh, on sunday night that were not were not my number one pick yeah. it's not troy's number one pick i agree but be, but because other judges scored them a little bit higher than what we did over others it kind of bumped them up and bumped them over that that little yeah. threshold, uh, but uh, like uh, walk through, not uh, was it walk through? Um, I see. No, yeah, walk through was one. It was within one point. Oh, um, That's a close score right there. Yeah, haunt cycled was within was within one point, um, and. Uh, yeah, so it was there was a, a yeah, and display I think was within two points. So um, yeah, there you know the 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 scoring is always very tight, you know, and and we have a we have a, a plan already in place that if we get a tie score, the um, then essentially it's uh, it's a judging between the two, and you know, and that's why one of the reasons why we like to have 
an odd set number of judges. So there cannot yeah. be cannot be a tie. So if there's a two or a heck even a three way tie, you know, it's essentially judged until it's well, there's, we, there's one definite winner. We had also talked about if we really couldn't figure it out and there was still a tie that we were going to have like both of our wives watch the videos and score it, yes. you know, just completely out of the, you know, yep. or just, or just go along and give them a different type of criteria to look at it and just be like, all right, yep. you know, you know, so somebody completely out of the judging thing, you know, because after you watch these things four or five times, you're like, God, I yep. really do like this a lot. You know, I, I'm sticking yeah. with my score, you know? Uh, yeah. So it, um, it definitely was very, you know, with, with, with display and walkthrough. Yeah, those these are were all home parts. haunts, right? Yeah, these are all yeah. homes. All they're all homes. Familiar, but the shit looks fucking ridiculously good. Yeah, yeah. all of them. Yeah. All of them are, you know, every everything is a home haunter. Um, we're not going to say that necessarily. You know, I I wouldn't be surprised if there's a pro haunter who has made a prop and maybe yeah. maybe submitted it and just didn't let yeah. us know that it was in a you know like they yeah. never said it was in a pro hunt and they you know there are, there are pro hunters that just make props just for yep. fun. You know, yep. um, or there are vendors that will make props and then they'll put them like uh, Mike. Um, uh, uh, what's it? What's it? Hallucination Creations. Yeah. He makes a bunch of props, but he puts them in Rob Beach's uh, haunt in Chicago, yeah. you right. know. And so Rob gets to say, well, I mean, Rob never puts those in because he didn't make them, you know, right. but that type of situation could present yeah. itself, you know. Uh, but yeah, no pro haunted houses can be in it. Um, yeah, because they get money. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and the, and it's, we'll yeah, and it's, yeah. And essentially the way we would define that is that if you accept money to go through your haunt for profit, then yeah. you're considered semi pro or true. pro. Yeah. Now, if you, if you accept money for charity, that's different. You know, which you're, you're using do. it as a, yeah, which right. is what a lot of them do. You know, they'll, they'll raise money or they'll do, um, you know, food donations, pet, you know, you know, pet food donations and stuff like that, that's still considered a home haunt because you're not making any money off of it. You know, right. you're, you're using it to, to raise money and, and everything else like that. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So if you do accept money for your, you know, at your haunt, uh, but it's going for charity, then you're not considered a, a semi pro or a pro haunt. But if you're, if you put a haunt on at your house and you charge admission, to basically take that money to build more props and do more for your <clears throat> more for your haunted house that's considered pro or or semi pro yeah. um so that's you know that's cuz we actually have some some good friends that they run a pro haunt out of their house but yeah. it's uh, but they charge money so yep. it's a it's a pro haunt so yeah. And we, you know, I, I mean, this is all in the honor system. I'm not going to check on you. I'm not going to, you know, no. um, no. I'm, you know, no, you, I mean, you don't have time for that. I mean, I don't have time. To, I don't have time to double check you. I feel like you guys uh, have enough time in your hands, just judging and editing and getting all this all together and doing, you know, well, but I also know a lot of, a lot of haunts and I know a lot of people yeah. and I can tell, and I know if you ran a haunt, if you, oh, if, yeah. if you have money or not. Anybody so, that's been in this industry yeah. knows if you bought don't it. Try or, to, don't try to put one over on me. Um, <laughs> But yeah, they, um, uh, we had, we had just so many that were, that were just, they're so good that, you know, that were just so close to, you know, that, that, that it was, I mean, it was, I I mean, at some point we're probably going to have to start doing fractional points because, so you know, let me just switch gears just a little bit. How many, how many, um, not nominees, we already know that, but how many different, categories are there that you can you can jump into for this for this event so for last year's there were i think it was nine and it's it's best static motorized and pneumatic prop best haunt cycled prop uh walk through display um costume uh our 12 foot skeleton category which you know last year included the the 12 foot 12 foot pumpkin inferno uh, which Home Depot just uh, had just released last year. Yes. Uh, and those those are the those were the eight categories that you could enter. The ninth category was best overall. And essentially, yeah. what best overall is is of the of the eight winners, whichever one of those eight winners scored the highest, that's what got best overall. Got um, it. 
And so, and again, that the best overall literally was by one point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, I mean, it was, I mean, it was just, it was such I don't even a know close. How you judge this. Like this shit is fucking unbelievable. I know. How do yeah, you judge it? Really how, is. Do you, how do you give somebody, you know, a nine out of 10? Like, shit. Yeah. Like, well, like, because, shit. because Fuck honestly, up, because of something like this. So you see how, 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 um, with, Sorry. with, you know, with certain videos, um, like you've got, you've got this one from Jennifer, right? How, you know, she's showing you right here how she's making this prop, right? You know, she's oh, not so you're, just, you're, you're, you're taking into account the right. We're the, taking into account what you're showing us on the, the amount video, of, the of love that you've put into the prop, not just, right. yeah. she didn't, yeah. she didn't just show us this. Right. You didn't just take a bunch of video of just, that's, of just yeah, it's fucking ass. Right, right. But it's like, but but she didn't <laughs> yeah. just show us just the end result. And she showed you how she did it and the time and the love and the creativity that went into yeah. you know, a and business. and a lot of the a lot of the submissions that we got were fantastic looking props, but there was kind there wasn't really any kind of of background to the prop and the the videos that had a little bit more substance to the, to the to the prop and more how dimensions. it was yeah how it was made and not only that but showing it in use within the hunt itself yeah you know there there are some there you know there were some entries of you know here here's my you know here's my cauldron creep and it's in their garage and it's a very well done prop and the mo you know the movements are really nice and it's flowing but there was no you know here's how i did this yeah. here's how i did this oh, and then he, was... and then here it is in my haunt so yeah, yes. you know so you know yes we're we're looking at your prop and we want to see how it you know what it looks like but we want to see how it's used and how it's you, you know it's, and how it's done yeah. you know within the prop itself that gives it or you know that scores it high and there were some entries that you know they just didn't have a backstory they didn't have you know showing it how it's used yeah. in the in the in the uh the haunt and anything else like that and um and it and it really and it hurt them and it's yeah. you know but i mean it is what it is well that's that's one of the things that even um that that the Canadian Hunters Award really drills into people is they say you're not going to win unless you show us at least some beginning stuff. How did you know a, a sketch? Then um, you know you know you making it in your garage and painting it. You know don't take an hour and a half to show us that. You know but show us some steps to show mm -hmm. us that you didn't buy. You know pr I mean easily prove you didn't buy it and yeah. that and 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 that you had enough love for like you were saying enough love for the prop uh that you wanted to spend time documenting your progress and yeah, your creativity team. originality yeah yeah, yeah. Um, um and and so you know some, some of the videos yep. you know like this one they're you know it's an awesome prop but i don't know a lot more to it i just saw the right. end result you, you just know saw and and you know maybe had he shown me a few more things of him making it it might have increased, um, you know, one of the reasons that this one specifically um, won is um, this Andrew one right here. He's, he's showing us what it took for him to make this giant costume. Was oh, that, that a new, is that a new thing? You guys didn't have costumes last year, right? No, costume no. was new this year. Yeah. Oh. Um, you know, so most of the costume ones showed us, steps of them making it um yep. but one of the things that really sent us over the top with with the you know with uh with the gourd one is you know how he's showing how he made this he made this rig himself you know mm -hmm. and then he shows a lot more of all the electronics that he built into it you know i mean he's got That's a fun. you know he's he's got a hard drive in there he's got all you know he's got the power supplies he's yeah. got wires going everywhere just to run this really cool you know prop that he stood in and then as people drove by, he started what he started walking out <laughs> and it had sounds and it had lights and it had yeah. all kinds of stuff, you know? Um, so yeah. those are the things that really set people apart from okay. ones that just say, here's my costume, you know, here's okay. my problem, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so that's kind of a hint for future years for anybody that is watching that, that no, you heard it here first. Video, yeah. is show us more than just the prop and 
I will tell you right now, I will give you a low score personally if you don't show it in the final setting. I want to see what it looks like in your hunt. Don't show me in your garage. Don't show me on your side yard. Don't show me in the attic. Show me in the haunt. Because if you put a cool prop in your garage and then you put that in your yard and your yard has clowns and you made a zombie you know, <laughs> gorilla, okay, or just a zombie, that doesn't fit. You know, so I want to know why you made it and where yeah. it goes and what it flows with the rest of your haunt. You know, you don't have to show me the entire haunt, but show me what it looks like in its final rest. Put it in place. the setting. Yeah, put yeah, it in exactly. the setting. You know, because exactly. then, then once it, it still shows your pride from beginning it's to end. It's going to show a level of uh, another yeah. level, another yeah. another level of that. Anyway, yeah. so speaking of other levels, let's take it to another level. Do we get to find out who the winners are here? What? You want to know the winners? Yeah. I don't, I, can, I don't have time to go through this whole thing. Let's let's talk about some winners. I can do that. Would you like to – I I would like to show you a quick little video. Before, before we do that quick little video, I want to okay. know, Chris Pre, Christopher Presley. Yes. What were the additional the additional um, things that people could could go in for? Oh, you right. mean the the categories? Yeah, the categories. Yeah. You so it, you told us about the first word, but you didn't tell me what – there's new. There's more, right? Because well, costume yeah. is more. Yeah, co yeah, costume was costume was new for this year for for last year's show or for you know the one that we had on Sunday. Yes. Um this year we're we're kind of doing away with the 12 foot skeleton uh and the the pumpkin inferno because um we feel it kind of singles out some people yeah. and they might not be able to enter into this category. And a lot of the people that, that got this 12 foot skeleton or the, or the pumpkin inferno really modified it in a way to make it just a lot more unique than just a, a skeleton or the pumpkin inferno standing in the yard. And that's what we were really wanting to showcase. But a lot of people out there do the same thing with other store-bought props. They're just not 12 foot skeletons. Right. So, so this year in lieu of the twelve foot skeleton, we are doing the best modified home, best modified store bought prop. So, cool. for example, so for example, you take a a plastic skeleton and you corpse it. You know, that's a modified store bought prop. You know, if you if you take a a motorized prop and you completely change, you know the the words that are coming out of the mouth and everything else like that i'll give you an example of something that i did i took you know um you know one of those uh those skeletons that you could plug a microphone into the back to and and speak through it yes well i found this this little game it's called the magic gin and it's kind of like 20 questions and mm -hmm. you you ask it'll ask you questions on a on a on a particular subject and it'll try to to guess what it was. I essentially took that game board and hacked it into that skeleton <laughs> so that rather than like it's acting like it's going through the microphone, the audio is coming through the the magic gin board and you know the audio is coming through and then I you know I modified it put the the microphone in the nose and everything so it was hidden and I modify, you know, so I essentially I modified a store bought prop to, you know, to turn it into an interactive skeleton. The problem is I've never used that prop. <laughs> <laughs> so Troy, I hate to say this, yeah. but you probably score me pretty low because I haven't probably, used that prop. Probably, probably. Haven't used that prop in my haunt. Um, <laughs> but you know, you know I had. I was just gonna say I had I had an idea and I wanted to see if I could do it there and was. I was able to do it, but I just I don't use it in right. my haunt. <laughs> The thing, you know, and the thing we're looking for is not necessarily, you know, his, you know, his idea about the corpse skeleton is good, but how did you use that corpse skeleton in your haunt? You know, yeah. if you buy it, you know, and, you know, modifying a store bought prop, you know, we don't want you just to buy the prop and put it in a scene. You know, that was, that was kind of our first idea was best usage of a store bought prop, but I liked his idea better of doing that. You're modifying the prop. So you got, you got a, you know, um, you know, you got the pumpkin stack from home Depot this year, the, you know, the seven foot pumpkin stack or whatever. And you added a bunch more pumpkins to it and you made this really cool archway or this really cool wall or door or, yeah. or, or, you know, photo op do something with that prop, change it from what it was when you got out of the box and, 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 you know, and, and try to think a little bigger, with what you're doing with that store bought prop within your haunt, you know, mm -hmm. um, is it a focal point in a walkthrough? Is it a, you know, is it, is it part of your entrance of your display? 
um, you know, um, is it part of your costume? You know, things like mm -hmm. that. So, you know, just try to think about what you would do with a store-bought prop. And that could be completely dismantling it. Take take a spirit prop, you know. Um, uh, 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 Melissa Winton just posted uh, yesterday that she took a, a spirit um, uh, uh, ringleader prop. It was a big, tall, gangly, you know, guy. And clown, he had yeah. all the all the all the clown stuff on him. Turned him into a grave digger. Changed, made that made 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 all the clothes ourselves and changed it all. You know, so that would be modifying a store bought prop. You know, yeah. changing the entire the entire function of it. So, is that the only thing no. other than costume? Oh, costume. No, no. no we're, we have one more, but let's do the winners first. Okay. See, I got we'll excited. Announce, I want to know. And then we'll all announce right, the brand going. new category. All right. Yep. Let's jump back to. Let's talk about some winners here. Let's okay, go. Ready? Here we go. Yeah, I'm ready. supposed to be in there.
One, two, three. <laughs> the curse has been lifted. Yeah. Right. yeah. Right? Right? I quit. I fucking uh, quit. <laughs> I know. It was it was, you know, and it, what's funny is is as I started to look at the entries and everything, last year's uh, you know, best motorized winner and really in in my mind was was a a clear uh winner for, you know, like best display haunt was 13 skeletons and i'm sitting here yeah. i'm like because you know you making a rue goldberg mach machine yeah, right. to do the hit that you know do their entire haunt i'm like nobody's gonna beat that in my mind i mean you can't beat yeah. that how could you beat that boom dueling pirate ships in the middle of your front yard yeah. <laughs> holy <Right>. crap <laughs> Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's, it's just, it was it was amazing. It, it's it's ironically amazing. those two are those two have actually connected now because have they been? yeah he was like he was like oh like like they talked and 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 it was it was yeah it, it was look at us look at us we're bringing the community together. together. You you <laughs> would be surprised how many people there have been some people who have messaged me and they're like who was the guy that did this again and I was like well you go back and watch the video again you know give us more views on the video. <laughs> But right. but I was like this, and there's like I've got to talk to him about how he did this and how he did this. So people are seeing these things, and that's yeah. that's one of my biggest things about this show so far. And this is year what three three right mm. three yeah. yeah yeah for us three in yeah. three years I have found people I never knew existed, and yep. they're winning and they're getting nominated. People that have never entered before on any other show are not entering. even part of the haunt community. They just right. love Halloween. Right, didn't realize and, the community that we have. Yeah, and so. That is one of the cool things is, and somebody said to me the other day, it's not the good old boys. Not that they did, um, you know, awesome stuff in their day, but at the same time, we need new people. We need new blood. And to see Let's new people run, win who you've never run, heard of, run. right. Yeah. And it's just going to give everybody that, that extra little push. Like that guy, that was his first year doing a haunt or whatever. Never seen him oh. before. And he wins an award. I can do that, you know? So it yeah. gives, it gives people a little more push that it's not the mm -hmm. same people that you've always seen win awards. And I really love that. Um, you know, and we also, like everybody you saw here this year, they cannot win in that category next year. Some of them won't even be able to enter because we're probably going to tap a couple of them to be judges because yeah. that's what we, we also cycle out our judges. The judges from last year are not going to judge this year. 
Um, we're gonna we're gonna get new judges. So yeah. that is gonna be a whole new batch of people looking at your videos, and some of them will be winners from this year. So they won't be able to enter at all. Um, we're not ready for veteran categories yet. We're gonna wait till probably year seven before we start mm -hmm. to do a veteran. Um, you know, because we don't just want to have five, because then obviously those five automatically get nominated. Yeah. Um, you know, so we will then once once we do once we get past the seventh year show, we will then say, okay, we will message all the previous winners and say you are now eligible to enter this category yep. as well as ones you haven't won before and things like that. So, um, yeah. you know, we'll keep tabs on that, but, um, it really, I like, gives I, I like, I like in, in the comments of the, of the, of the YouTube DJ fright says first time hearing about it. First time submitting and he wins an award. Mm -hmm. That's right. And he was on the show. Like I told him the other night, I said, do you know, <laughs> do you know how hard it was? Yeah. To not pay? To David and yeah. and to uh, and to uh, uh, you know Donald. Uh, Hi guys, you won an award. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and then to talk to Tony because I've talked to Tony a few times. Tony's going to be the last guest on our show this year, and I'm sitting here the whole last like month and a half going, yeah, he's going to be on the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's going to be great. He doesn't know he won yet. You know, so he'll be the first one of our winners that will have be, will be on after they have found out their winners. Yeah. Uh, yep. But uh but yeah, that you know, that was kind of the you know, those people were already on this kind of an inside baseball thing. I used the submissions from this award show to actually kind of put guests on our show. Um, the original idea was that we were going to have the show out much earlier every year. And we were going to have those guests who had won on yep. after the award show so they right. can have their, you know, hour of fame right. and talk about their whole display. This yeah. year that didn't work out that way. We will hopefully have that return in subsequent yes, years. I would like that to return because yeah. it's a yeah. whole lot, of, it's a whole lot more fun to talk to somebody when they're excited after they just want to thing. Right. Them. Then bite right. our tongue and say we can't talk about it because we know <laughs> it's possible that you have won or you have won and we can't talk to you about well, it. Well, and so. I also didn't tell you guys who had won because I didn't want you guys to accidentally, right. you know, you know, because Dan, know. Dan, Dan has a loose tongue, you know. I know, I Troy. I, Troy, I wish, I really wish you had, I really wish you had told me, Troy. I mean, you know, it was very mean that you, uh, you kept that a secret from me. Such a dick. I, 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 know, you know, it, I know. That's it, how it, it works. It did, Troy. You know what? You know what? Let's just do this. All right. Oh, uh, hey. It, oh, the show just got 10 times better. <laughs> yeah, look, look. We went down to two viewers, one viewer, negative viewers. What? We're off the air? YouTube has banned us? That's terrible. That's awful. It's terrible. Because oh, you showed back up. That's why. Right. <laughs> That's right. Sean, That's right. Sean is crying in his living room now. It's, it's no, he's terrible. not. He's excited because now. Yeah, those are those are tears oh, of joy. Gone. Those now are tears gone. of joy. Tears of joy, and he's excited because he's now going to be co-hosting speaking, speaking, and, speaking. And, you, and you know what and you know what as soon as you disappeared even though her knee is hurting her it's so bad right now fawn even got up and did dance the little jig yep. she did she did she did she got she she got out of her you know wheelchair that sean put her in um and um <laughs> hey hey i saw um, him push her down okay i did we too Texas. i did too i, I saw totally that did. so oh um, wait we weren't so, we weren't so. supposed to say that were it's we Troy? oh yeah well, it's still nothing sorry. sean on the level on the level <laughs> anyway. uh but anyway Speaking of Sean specifically, um, yeah. we in in previous years, me and Christopher have done all the filming. Um, you know, either either you know one of you know on tripods or us holding the camera, things like that. Uh, when we did it at Nate's house last year, the majority of it was done on tripods. Mm -hmm. um, this year, we thought, okay, you know, based on a couple of the ideas we had, we were like, we need somebody to film this. And I had, I, I, you know, I was talking about it, and I don't know if we had mentioned something on online or so i can't remember how sean got into it but i but i believe sean just just said hey if you guys need any help you know that you know this week and i, I said know. you know what actually would you mind filming and i've seen his video editing i've seen his his uh you know his 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 filming abilities um and i was like i i think he'd be a great fit um and he walked right into that thing and knew exactly what he was doing he even did the little clapboard thing without i didn't even know he did it and i saw it in the video it was like i did it without putting the sound on so there was no clap sound and then i go to the next clip and there's sean going take one and i'm like yeah <laughs> um yes, and 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 he um the way he filmed it um we didn't even tell him like i thought he was just going to keep rolling and we were just going to flub up and then we were, yeah. and then we were, and then we were going to keep going. He actually broke every time we broke 
and to reset the scene. And so when I went to edit, I was able to watch so all the clips easier. and write so down, okay, easier. this clip goes to this, this clip goes to this, yeah. boom. The, it, it, I mean, it cut the so editing easier. process down in half. Yeah. <laughs> and so I, I, yeah. I still, I can't, I, I, I literally can't thank him enough for how, for how he did that. Um, so, you know, yes, yes, we, 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 you are welcome, but thank you more than anything. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, I mean, a lot of the, a lot of the shots that we did, like in the, uh, the very ending scene where we're running through the curtain and running out to get back out onto the showroom floor. And he just kind of pans along with us. I mean, that was such a, that was such a, a great shot because it wasn't like, okay, the, here we go. We're running in front of the camera, but the camera is not following us. We just run past the, the camera. So, so can you pause this for a second, Troy? So for the people that haven't watched the awards show, Troy and Christopher put on like a, like a skit, would you say mm -hmm. a, a storyline? It's a show within a show. Awards. It's yeah. a show within a show. So this is, mm -hmm. we're watching the show within the show. Go on. Well, no, actually, technically, you're watching the rehearsal within the show. Uh, right. Okay. See, that's great. But, you know, I yeah. mean, we didn't give him any direction on this. You right. know, he just went, you know, we just said, we're going to run over here. And he's like, okay. <laughs> you two clowns. Yeah. <laughs> yes, are awesome. I just yeah. love this. Um, oh, I got to go back. You know. So, you know, the, the, the idea for the, or the plot of the show is that we are going to rehearse. We're up there on Friday rehearsing for the show. And that's where the show starts. And we get served with a cease and desist. Um, and we just... Yeah, somebody, 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 nobody, somebody, nobody tells you. Somebody's somebody trying to shut... Somebody, right. somebody wants us to stop filming the show yeah. and stop doing the show. So they sent us a lawsuit and a cease, cease and desist letter. Oh my God, yeah. that's awesome. Oh my so God. then we, de we decide, okay, well then how... The vendors don't know this yet. We do know that rumors in the haunt industry fly like crazy, but this is literally in a captive audience. They haven't, nobody's on Facebook out there because they're all setting up their booths. So nobody knows yet. So we go out there and it has already spread through the floor. That's and Brandon's so, fault. It was Brandon's fault. He's got to be. It mouth. was Brandon's fault. Brandon went and, you know, went and talked to everybody. Um, and, uh, we, 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 you know, we definitely had other plans for this, for, for, you know, for a lot of this part, had we gotten more extras to be able to help us with it. Um, you know, we had some extra th things we were going to do, but it would have made it longer. So this is probably, probably for the best, yeah. but we, we basically went to each vendor and they told us, no, they couldn't help us. But in the process, they would say, no, I can't help you say the best nominees for best static prop. <laughs> and then we would cut and then we would hand them a card and say, can you really, that just say just all you have to do is just say what's on this card and they go i'm not going to read that tim thompson won for best motorized prop and then we and we'd be like oh man <laughs> and then we and then, and then we walk away so oh we man i know tim them. tim was yeah. great for the whole time we tricked every vendor into saying it but what was cool was we walked up to each vendor and we had gotten permission from all the vendors prior to this and and you know and we said, you don't need to know a script at all. We're literally going to tell you what to say in our banter, as well as right before we'll tell you what nominees you're going yeah. after. And then we literally gave them a card to read off of. So it was like no script, no memorizing. The vendors were like, this will take five minutes of my time while I'm setting up. Let's do it. You know, it wasn't like, hey, we need you for like an hour away from setting yeah. up the booth. We literally just walked to each one as oh, they so had cool. time on Friday. And we got all of them. A few we had to get on Sunday, so we made it look like they were setting up, but they were actually tearing down. <laughs> except, uh, except, except, except for Bill at Mind Trap, he didn't want to help us. Yeah, Bill told us to fuck off, the jerk. I know. Um, but yeah, yeah so we got to send we, him a big eyeball. I know, right? Um, you know, so then at the end, we go back and Dirk Gently, the private investigator, who obviously I looks still, a lot I like still. Him, he looks familiar. He but, does. You know, he does. He does. But I mean, we don't. I feel. Really know I, feel is, so. I feel. I feel sorry for him. Oh, post a picture up. Do you have a picture of him? Let me see. I. Uh, he looks very familiar, but I feel sorry for him because the guy he looks like is is you know, the definition of butterface. <laughs> but her face. So we're talking about how we can't get the vendors to help us, and you know, and you know. We don't know what, you know, you know, we don't know what we're going to do. And 
did I do it at the right spot? I don't know. Let's uh, find out. I didn't. Hold on. Oh, oh. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Where's the ahem? Ahem. <clears throat> okay. Oh, uh, uh, you. There he is. Look at this guy. This guy's a jerk. Yeah, he is. This guy's God, a jerk. I've seen that him. I've seen him somewhere else. Yeah, you know, if, I don't know. If he was wearing a gold chain, I would have almost thought he was Italian. Maybe, yeah. maybe. I so think it's the hat, cool. but maybe 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 we should put some glasses on him. Maybe, maybe you know, maybe you know, maybe then he would know. Uh, but yeah, so Dirk gently hands him this paper, and Dirk. ironically, it's all written in crayon, and Christopher never opened the freaking package, so the whole time we didn't need to actually do all this because crayon is not a legal method of writing a document. Maybe in Oregon. Well, maybe in Oregon. Maybe in Oregon, but not Texas. Not Texas. So then we go through now. There's a big flub up in the way that I presented the awards. Uh, I put the wrong closing file in line when I was editing. Is that why your name is Troy Credits Kravol? Yep. Because I literally went along and the credits went so fast. Like it was boop, 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 boop. This whole thing. And there's and so there's actually a point to this. About three weeks ago, or or no, it was no, it was about a week ago. Christopher and I were talking about, you know, the credits and things like that. And we were talking about what we need to put in it. And he said, it doesn't matter because people don't really watch the credits anyway. So I said, challenge accepted. So during the credits, I have now spoofed Monty Python. And down below are German phrases that go sort of with what's on the screen, just like in Monty Python. <laughs> um, so obviously, if people were to, you know, ach, 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 is the name of my Schwester's punk band. <laughs> <laughs> and and then Yvonne the runaway cow. That's an actual German uh, animal story. And then of course you know he's been sacked, so we go back. Uh, and uh, I'm just glad you didn't do the bright neon flashing. I know I did not. Whatever. I, did not. I was like, oh, because <laughs> as soon as I start, as soon as I hear the music, I immediately picked up where it was, and I'm like, yes, because the Wonder Llama music starts right here. Or yeah. No, 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 it starts after this one, and. Because it fit perfectly with me spinning Max's face through it, and mm -hmm. and, and and it worked out really well. So you know, it was like you know, um, and of course, you know, because the original <laughs> the original credits that I showed didn't have Hunt Collective on there. I and know so you are our new oh. two year sponsor, Haunt Collective. Oh. Woo! Yeah, oh. in fact, I even I even pointed that out to Troy. I was like, um, yeah. Troy. We had a few more sponsors than that, like Haunt You Podcast and I OG, I don't know, the Haunt Collective. I was, like, I was like, well, we never talked about how that was going to work because we said it was a two-year thing. And I was like, mm -hmm. does that start after the second show? And he's like, well, yeah. I thought it was like during the same time frame. I was like, no, they get two shows each. So Max got his two shows because Maximus Christian Bryant is awesome. Yep. Yep. And then now for two years, it'll be presented by <laughs> no, Haunt Collective. No, Troy, Troy. What? The show's, o the show's over. Oh, we don't have to Max say that anymore. Maximus Christian Bryant was awesome. Was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> was oh, awesome. Is over. Woo! That's awesome. <sighs> yeah. So, um, but no, Matt, why no, Matt, you... Matt, Max, no, Max is awesome. Max is awesome. He, 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 he is. is awesome. He absolutely is. I'll always say he's awesome. So he don't have to pay me any money. That's true. That's true. <laughs> so, Christopher, why don't you talk about the new? Yes. Let's let's go over the new stuff and then we can the new we can category close out. So so uh, as I had stated earlier, we've changed the twelve foot skeleton uh, and twelve foot inferno category to uh, best modified store bought prop, mm -hmm. and of course we discussed that a little bit earlier. So the new ca the the categories are this year. Again, we're still sticking with our our basics, which is best. Uh, Static prop, which is at standstill, best motorized prop, meaning it's you know it's using some type of a, a mode like a wiper motor, a reindeer motor, whatever. Uh, pneumatic prop, that's pretty much self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. um, a walkthrough and display haunt, um, and you know just to kind of go back and revisit what the terminology is for our show. Uh, you know, walk through is you actually walk through the entire haunt. Uh, there's going to be, you know, interactions with actors, with other props and scares and such. Uh, and as well as um, you know, best display, which, you know, you drive up to it, you look at it. It's a display or you can walk up and maybe walk into it, but it's still just a, a, a display. 
Um, and then let's see. So that's that walk walkthrough. Um, best costume. We're we're gonna do best costume again. Uh, and again, best costume can be a costume that you're wearing for your haunt. It could be a costume that you're wearing just for a costume party, or it could be a costume that you're making for a specific prop itself. Uh, you know, Jennifer Dunahy made a, a, a costume for a prop, you know, and that count that count that counted. Yep. So um, it's not specific to uh, a character actor, you know, that you're using in your haunt or or whatever. It could be a, like I said, it could be a, a for your haunt, for a costume party, or for a prop that you've that uh, that you've uh, uh, built. Um, haunt cycled. We're gonna do haunt cycled again. Um, haunt cycled is literally just recycling something to turn it into a prop. So as you saw in in the uh, in the show, people would take uh, styrofoam that they were able to get from um, various you know hardware type tractor stores, supply. tractor supply stores, uh, or you know some type of uh, uh, shipping foam blocks and they turn it into this huge elaborate prop or somebody you know took um, a piece something of that was going to be trash basically. yeah something that was going to be trash you know you know a paper mache pumpkin that's that's haunt cycled so yeah. something that you've recycled uh and you've turned it into a prop and with the haunt cycled we need to see this the basically what it was before yeah and what you've turned it into and even the process during that and yeah, then as troy said earlier what how it's how it's being used in your haunt yep. so um haunt cycled is a little more of a, of a stricter category um again the best modified prop uh, store-bought prop and then the last one um you know we've seen a lot of people be very creative with projections um and these right here this is the the wicked makers and they literally created a portal uh, using foam uh, blocks and everything else like that, projection material, and then they have a customized projection that they use in behind the 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 cloth, and they've made this portal. Uh, in fact, one of our entries, Troy, I don't know if you remembered, one of our entries for best pneumatic, the the Rising Reaper, uh -huh. was standing was standing in front, in of, a front of a portal. Yeah, was standing in yep. front of a portal just like that. That's what we want to see. You know, anybody can take a projection and put it into a window. They can, yeah. you know, they can put it on some pumpkins and stuff like that. Um, and that's, you know, that's not as unique. We want something that is really unique. You know, you, yeah. you take a, uh, I'll give you another example. You take some of the material, you put it up on your roof and you have their projection up on your roof. You know, that's not a typical place that right. you would, think to, to see a projection so uh if you do and use projections in your haunt and you have a little bit more of a unique way to present them um yeah that's what we want to see so it's going to be um uh, uh how, how did we what do we call it troy the best uh projection no what was it gosh i can't even think of the, the name what we decided I guess, to call I, it i don't i don't think we did figure out a name yet but it'll be best oh. it, it'll, it, it'll basically be best 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 projection mm -hmm. or best uh, come, you know come up with something creative later yeah no, no, yeah no. yeah Na name to be determined <laughs> there, you go. there you go yeah and then of course as always our best overall which will be uh you know uh, uh you know whoever had the highest score of all the winners is considered best overall awesome awesome well thank you christopher for coming on tonight troy as always thank you yeah, thank you yeah. Um, oh, uh, and we... real quick, um, you know, if, uh, if if Susie's not coming back, Wilma said she's happy to step in. Okay. Well, we'll make sure we put that on the list. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing now? Uh, well, th this is just another, you know, uh, another version of, and this is actually a segue. Boom. Um, Boom. The, this is another haunter, and she's actually used different different projections, different ways to project I things. I see where you're going um, with this throughout 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 the house, um, including doing projection mapping. Um, I love projection this mapping. this this specific video doesn't doesn't have doesn't have the projection mapping done on it, uh, but um, 
projection mapping also qualifies for the projection uh, category. Perfect. So anything you do with projections that is unique and not just, you know, like with this one with the tombstone right there, that's pretty easy to do. You know, not going to say you're not going to win for that, but spice that up. Yeah. Make it bigger. Perfect. Make it make it more awesome. You know, more um, add your and, twist. Yeah. You know, you know, do something new with that type of thing. Um, and, you know, and so, you know, not necessarily the projection mapping would win over over something else. That portal that could very easily win over a giant projection mapping, you know. So it's it, because we have such different types of, you know, we have a lot of different types of judges. They all like different things and they see it differently than, you know, than, yeah. than, than the other judges. So we should um, we should really have this lady on. What, cool should, should we have this lady on? <laughs> we should. Should Why, we? Because, we are, is she going to be on? Because she's going to be on next week. Ooh, ah, yes. Uh, this is Haunting with Trisha. It's Trisha Toker of Toker Manor. Uh, and she, uh, from what she told me, she is the only one in on the display that does the projection mapping. She does all the computerized stuff. She does everything herself. Pretty she much produces the, the entire display by herself. Um, wow. So we'll dive into that with her, but yes, um, next week. this is, next this week. is really cool to see, um, you know, we haven't had projection, um, you no. know, uh, you know, a show about projections yet. Uh, and projection mapping is pretty intense. Yes. So, um, Speaking of pretty intense, how do we find the uh, home haunter awards show? Is it on YouTube? Is it on Facebook? It is on all of that stuff. So uh, oh, we do, oh. we do have a website. Uh, it is yeah. hhawards.rip. Ooh. 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 Oh, yes. Uh, so hhawards.rip. We do have a Facebook page, Home Haunter Awards Show. Super easy to find if you can't spell that. Uh, we also have a YouTube page. Perfect. Uh, and it is channel U-C-Q-D-E-B-T-Q-T. -Q -Q. <laughs> uh, just type in Home Hunters Award Show. You'll find it. It's got the little Home Hunter Award Show logo. Uh, it has right on the front page. If you've never been to the show, uh, never been to the page, it'll show you the award show. If you have been to the page before, it'll show you our current outtakes that I just posted today. Silliness. Um, so yes, you can you can find all of our stuff on there. This also has uh, playlists, and on the playlists we have as many of the um, YouTube versions of the. Uh, submissions. So if they if they did a a uh, a YouTube video, you know, like you've got 28 videos for display. There were a lot more videos that were presented, but a lot of them were done through Google Drive or Dropbox or different cloud services, Vimeo, things like that, where we couldn't put them on here. But these are all the YouTube submitted, uh, uh, you know, submissions for this year, and we also have some for 2020 in there as well. So if you want to go back and watch any of the videos in their full form, not just our clipped versions from the show, they are there. Uh, most of them are in their individual category cool. on, on so the everybody can, find, everybody can find their own videos if, as long as they uploaded them through yeah. YouTube. Is yep. yep. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. It's kind of like an archive for everybody's submissions. That's right. Cool. And yeah. people had asked us, you know, the, the original thought was that we weren't going to do this because we were like, well, we'll just let people watch the video. They can write down the names and they can go look for themselves. There were a lot of people who were asking us, Hey, we would like to see these videos of the submissions. Will we get to, and I'm like, okay, well I'll do. Okay. Maybe so much the least amount of work in that. I will only put the YouTube ones on there. Sure. I could, I could take the Dropbox ones and edit them into That's a video and put them on YouTube myself, but I'm not gonna do that. So we would love it if everybody did YouTube, but we still sub we still accept submissions for uh, for Drive and and uh, and a Dropbox. You do need to make. It it, is that now public for everybody to see? That, well, these uh, the playlists have 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 been have been have been public for months now. Um, okay. ever once 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 the submissions were closed, I started putting up the playlists. Got um, it. You know, so once once everybody had it, they knew that they were you know that they you know nobody else could sneak one in. You know, perfect. Uh, and uh, so that we will continue to do that every year. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, as long as you put it yeah. on YouTube, we will put it on these on these on, on these lists. Otherwise, you can go onto Facebook and usually find these people's videos on you know uh, through them, yeah. or you can ask them to. Uh, some right. people just didn't want to show the rest of the videos; they just wanted to keep it just between us, you know, whatever. So, yeah. but yes, um, awesome. Well, I guess that wraps it up, right? I don't think yep. we have any. I think so. 
but yeah, so I, I hate to say I've won things on video oh, production versus actual Jason originality. Becker. Quality. Who's that guy? Jason Becker? Jason Becker. Um, I yeah. I feel it, like that guy hasn't done anything Halloween related <laughs> for me. I feel um, like I haven't. Hey but, Jason, miss you, but buddy. He's act, but he's he's <laughs> very he's he's very correct. I I will say That's that house. there probably are a few of the winners who won almost based on their video quality. Because I was going to say know, that, yeah, yeah it, you know, there 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 very well could have been a really awesome prop. But if we can't see it that well, we know what you were going for. We know the prop, but we couldn't see it. It was grainy. It was, it was, it was too dark, too bright, whatever, you know? And yeah. so somebody who had maybe a little bit lesser quality prop, but a really good video to really showcase it and jazz it up. They won because of that too. We don't have a yeah, criteria it's, it's for that, those levels, but it helps. Those because levels we do have an overall love. feeling in our judges. The levels yeah. of love. Yeah. That's going to be, that's going to be our, our new, uh, that's going to be our new criteria. Level of love. Level of love. Uh, Level Dominique of love. actually has a good idea. Uh, best imaging category. We'll float that around. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, mm -hmm. we'll we'll mark that down. Um, so yeah, but yeah, we um, we will be putting out posts about all this stuff, so you don't have to watch the show just to get this information. We'll be putting out posts yeah. with all this after we get through the winter stuff. We got to post up graphics for the winners, and we got to get them their trophies out. That's coming up next, um, and then we will start uh, talking about submissions for this year. So if you're making stuff now. Start taking video of what you're making, um, or go and, back. And, and 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 most important thing, if you're filming with oh. your cell phone, please turn it to the please turn it to the side. Landscape. Please yeah. turn it horizontal. You, you lose a landscape. lot of detail. You lose you lose a lot of detail in pixels this way. Do it yeah. this way. Yep. Yep. That's all that we. I mean, yep. that's that's really that's all the all that we. Asked. Several of the nominees did vertical videos, so we can't say you're not going to win because of it. Tim Thompson won; he did a vertical video, so yeah. we're not going to judge you harshly against it. But it but it will help if your video is is horizontal. Yeah, it will definitely jazz we, up the video. We just we like horizontal videos versus vertical. <laughs> I like horizontal. That's weird. Yeah. Weird. So yes, yeah. tomorrow uh, next it's Tuesday, it's Trisha Toker. Uh, she'll be on the show with us. Awesome. And Christopher, it's time for you to go to bed. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Christopher. Troy. Yeah. It's always been fun. Everybody Bye. have a good night. We'll see you next Tuesday night. Bye.